Hi, I'm Jen Trepic of Salad with a Side of Fries podcast in Brooklyn's Industry City with Flavors of New York to check out Rib King. Let's head inside. Hi guys, what do you have? Today we want to represent the uh, picking, barbecue picking Thai style. We serve with the uh, jasmine light style with the uh, and the uh, side sauce in the uh, uh, the side veggie. We're gonna have the string bean stock saute. So this is the uh, my mom teach me when I was young, and I remember and I keep to represent to everyone know in today. Come Lai Thai, Thank you and appreciate. See you guys. Longtime friends of Flavors of New York, Kamrai Thai. You can smell the chili. Oh my god. So good with a little bit of rice. I can't wait for this. This is the most different rib we're gonna taste. I can tell. That Thai chili. Mm -hmm. So good. So much flavor. The rice is a perfect compliment. I love, I love it. This. this is like no rib we've had today. What we got here today is a St. Louis pork rib sauce with a thin back brewery banana pudding stout, which is 14.1 plus percent alcohol, topped with real edible 24 karat gold leaf. The rub itself is our classic barbecue uh, coffee rub. It's delicious and we're pairing it with a golden ranch potato salad and pickled onions. Hey, how you doing? We're uh, doing ribs and uh, corn salad today. A little riblets, it's basically a half rib with uh, sticky barbecue sauce and uh, Mexican corn salad. Hi, I go by Scotty Peppers. This is my brand Bayou Gotham. We've got five uh, Bayou Gotham flavors for us, born on the bayou, one aged in Gotham. All right, so we come from Norwalk, Connecticut. We're representing, representing Haruki Izakaya and Bamboo Bamboo Fire Club. It's a collaboration of a hot sauce company and a Japanese izakaya. We have Five flavors, mild to wild. We do a Tokyo teriyaki barbecue. We have a spicy uh, gochujang aioli. We have our signature habanero Thai chili sesame sauce. We have an extra hot uh, sesame ghost. And then we have our Re Reaper yuzu miso mango. Today we're dishing up uh, sesame habanero Thai chili ribs, uh, as well as our Tokyo teriyaki ribs. And then we're also encouraging people to try our Reaper rib challenge, which uh, we lather our ribs after they're cooked in the already spicy sauces with our hottest and most wild sauce which is our reaper miso mango yuzu sauce we have a pastrami rib smoked with cherry wood uh, a little bit of yellow mustard barbecue sauce pickled jalapenos and a rye bread crumble Dinosaur barbecue. We've got four hour long smoked ribs and we got St. Louis style over here. Come check it out. So it's Darlene from Sam's Jerk Hut and today we are serving a honey apple barbecue jerk rib and we have a apple and peach cobbler cornbread. Hey, how's it going? Uh, I'm here representing Friends of Firefighters. We're a nonprofit located in Red Hook, Brooklyn. We offer free mental health counseling to New York City firefighters and their families. So Morgan's Barbecue here from Brooklyn. I think we're one of the only ones. Anyway, uh, we're doing our smoked ribs, and then we go one step further, and we put them in the oven with our homemade sauce, and we glaze them. So it's a smoked traditional Texas rib with a little bit of, you know, North Carolina. So this is the ribs. Look how they look. Beautiful, nice and glazed, juicy. So we are making, let me give you a whole one. We're getting an espresso, espresso rib with chicharron and a sweet slaw. 
So you're gonna get. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my. All right. What's up, brother? So what we have right now is a char siu, uh, baby back rib. It's our take on Chinese takeout. And what we did is we made some fried garlic chips and we put it right on top. So enjoy. All right, Kyle Marku here, AKA the Vulgar Chef. We're out here at Rib King 2024 Industry Park in Brooklyn, eating a lot of meat. I've already got the meat sweats. I'm looking to enhance that a little bit. I'm gonna continue eating ribs until I can no longer move. Let's get some Topo Chico. Thirsty, it's hot outside. Good, how are you? Thank you so much. Cheers. All right. Good, how are you? Drinks on an empty stomach. What do we got? Today, uh, my name is Kenny. I'm with Fort Hamilton Distillery. Uh, we're located right here in Building 6 uh, with a beautiful bar tasting room, open seven days a week. And we do tours uh, during the weekend. And we're showcasing today our New World Gin, our double barrel rye whiskey, newly released four-year-old bourbon, and uh, our maple syrup, barrel, barrel right, age. I'm gonna go for the bourbon. Sure. This is a high rye bourbon. It's 85% corn, 10% rye, 5% malted barley. It's aged four years. Cheers. Yummy, yummy. Delicious. Cheers all day long. From Blue Smoke, we've got our pastrami spare ribs with a house made sauerkraut and mustard. All right, this is Blue Smoke's pastrami spare rib. Let's see. So good. Empire Barbecue also has a pastrami rib. Dueling pastrami ribs today. So good. I'm not gonna lie, I think I like this one better. Sidra, which one do you like better? Okay, so Empire's, Empire Barbecue has the most tender rib, and it has a mustard barbecue sauce that I've never had before. And instead of using pickles, they actually pickled jalapenos and put it on top, and it's delicious. Look at that, man. It's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. A total classic dinosaur barbecue. Check that out. I go to Dinosaur Barbecue in Harlem and I know it's gonna be good already. I know. Here we go. It's so tender. And that smoke like ring, a, amazing. It's like a sweet, smoky barbecue sauce. I'm not putting it down. A rib from Sands Jerk Cut, and not only is it a rib, we have an apple peach cornbread, which I've never heard of, so I'm so excited to try it. I'm honestly starting with the cornbread. Same. Almost like the cornbread almost tastes like cake crust. God. Right? Okay. And then we have this saucy jerk rib. Spice is good, not overbearing, delicious. Really good. This is a rib from Archie Moore's. It's sticky, actually. This is the first rib that I had that was sticky. Okay. We were at another booth. Somebody tasted this rib and was like, ooh. See, it was the same reaction. I why. And we were like, where did that reaction come from? And he sent us over here. You know what it reminds me of? A uh, Chinese spare rib. I don't know why, okay. but this it does. It's delicious. It's got fried garlic on top. All right, we are at Dancing Pig. They have a corn salad with a riblet. I, this is right up my alley with Same. both the, the riblet, the corn salad. It's perfect for me. I eat corn almost every day, so. Do you really? <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of corn. <laughs> Take your finger out it's of it. Good. Oh, it's fresh. It's like the perfect cold thing on this hot day. Okay, now the rib part. Time for the rib. Okay. All right, here we go. We're at Rib King 2024, and uh, the word is Empire. 
Italian. We were directed by maybe one of the judges to come try this food. They said it's phenomenal. So yeah, man. Hey, how are you, bro? Good chef. Good, good to see you. To see you. Did you get a rich? Yeah. Good, right? It's really good. Yeah, it's really good. Twenty twenty four Rib King has been amazing at Industry City. Wouldn't you agree? We did it. It was delicious. Highly recommend Brooklyn Barbecue coming Nothing back every better. year. For flavors of New York, I'm Jen Traffic of Salad with a Side of Fries Podcast. And I'm Cedra AK of Cedra Ate It. We'll see you next time. We're out. <laughs>